All right. Hello, hello, everybody. It's Girl Got Game, and welcome to another Gander episode. Today, I will be checking out the demo for Save the Villainous from Best Laid Plans Production. You probably noticed that it's very, very quiet. Um, so I've been directed that the best course of action for recording this game for YouTube is to turn the music off, which is unfortunate because the little bit of music I've heard in this has sounded fabulous. So I'm sad I can't listen to the music, but there is music in this game in case you're wondering. Anyway, I was reached out to by Tanya, who is absolutely lovely and very accommodating and understanding, and that there was an upcoming Kickstarter for their demo and if I could go and check it out. And yeah, um, answered so many of my questions, gave me lots and lots of information that will be helpful going into this. So I'm excited to check this out. Let me tell you a bit about the story for Save the, the Villainous. So it's inspired by isekai and anime such as My Next Life as a Villainous and Tear Moon Empire, as well as uh, satirical fantasies such as Discworld and romanticy authors like Sarah J. Moss. Save the Villainous is a darkly comedic investigative visual novel that lets you control a villainess who can't remember the romance novel she is trapped in or which character wants her dead, which could be a bit of a problem. Can you guide your amnesiac villainess through a menacing manner, determine which woman is set to murder her, decide between romance and revenge, escape from eldritch horrors, and solve the mystery of this world? Can you save the villainess and maybe smooch a person or two? <laughs> Maybe the servant? Okay, I need you guys to know. The servant is like who I'm the most interested in this game, but there's a lot of, as you can see, very attractive people. Um, so what, I, what else you can do in this game is there's a story mode and a detective mode. So if you don't want to do like any of the detective stuff and you'd like some hints about whether the choices you're making are good or bad ones, story mode is the one for you. I'm going to try detective mode um, cause I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no bad endings. So wish me luck. We're going to give it the old college try and yeah, let's go meet everybody and, uh, do our best. Oh, hoo, 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 impressions. Probably something like that. All right. Butterfly be flapping its wings. We're off to the theater. Oh. Ominous sound is ominous. Okay, whoever's controlling the butterfly. There we go. In Man, this is gorgeous, though. Shall we begin? Sure. What is your season of birth? Excuse me, who wants to know? <laughs> it's actually very soon. Uh, it is the summer. Continue. Yes. So you were birthed in summer. Yes. It was a Friday the 13th. A stormy evening, as I recall. It is a beautiful season for bones to dry. That as well, unless there's a thunderstorm that day. Regardless of your unfortunate birth, we must move onwards. Indeed, indeed. What is that? Do you feel that something is lacking? You would like some way to make this more about you. Very well. Your tastes are the highest priority. What is your food of choice? Uh, no capitals or spaces. Dang, I was going to say mashed potatoes. <sighs> food of choice. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this is going to play into. I guess I could just say potatoes. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go with potatoes. It feels right. Or should it be like the singular potato? This pudding could be singular or plural. Now I'm questioning everything. Mm, maybe I should pick something that's safer. <laughs> that's that, It works 
whether it's in the plural or the singular. What else could I do? I could do cake. Would that be my food of choice? Oh, you know what? I know exactly what it is. Bread. There we go. I'm saved now. I'm safe. Um, Badoop. Full of mold that is left to sit and grow. <laughs> I'm so curious what they would have said about potatoes. Then run through flame and heat to conceal its vile origins. My, you will be entertaining. You have exquisite taste. In your mouth, anyway. Well, thank you. I'll take it. It's the highest compliment I've received in quite some time. Were you expecting more questions? More focus on your desires? That time has passed. After all, yours is not the only story. Not the only story. Okay, that's normal. The only story. Your story. Will be his story. <laughs> Chapter one, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I haven't watched Wheel of Fortune in a long time. Not related at all to what's happening, but it's fine. The purpose of existence is that one should become conscious. Carl Jung. The animations are absolutely incredible. I'm loving that so far. Oh, you're just gonna drop me right into hell with these guys, eh? Oh, hello. We, zo we be zooming. Emperor. What would you wish the world to be shaped by? Collaboration or justice? Oh, there's a timer. Uh, collaboration. I, did, I was like, wait, something is sliding down. I was thinking about it for a while. I was going to be like, if, if everybody collaborated, then there would be no need for justice, right? That's my thinking. So you wish to work by consensus. Take care which voices you value and which you ignore. Now drink this tea. Okay, he took his tea and left. And what do you have to say, beautiful long-haired man? The Hermit. Okay, are you guys all based on tarot cards? Hmm, suspicious. What do you do when faced with a challenging problem? Follow the rules or create your own path? I follow the rules. Rules provide a key for solving a problem. So long as your problem is a lock that fits. We're getting such strong Kingdom Hearts vibes from this. Like, answer these questions, and then this will determine your difficulty level. And then you, Masur, with the beautiful green hair. Magician. Okay. Which is more important to you? How vague. To love yourself and your own strength. Loving and respecting yourself can help you overcome many trials. Are you willing to extend that love and respect to others as well? I don't know. Ask me in an hour. I'll let. You, I'll get back to you on that. Do I have to drink my own tea now? No. Oh, save the villainous. The best way to do that is don't drink this. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. All right. Also, if you see me moving my mouse around a lot, it's because they, there be secrets in this game as well. Hello. At some point, we'll be able to look around. Some, oh. You might want to get that looked at, dear. That, uh, that can't be good for you. Love? History? Love? This part of the gallery is currently mysteriously covered. Come back later. Ah! Where am I? 
who am I? And why am I bleeding? Is this, is this our symbol? I can't remember what this is called. Is that our symbol? And why am I in a strangely moving carriage? A strangely moving carriage with comfortable seat cushions. Very comfortable seat cushions. I almost feel as though this carriage is resting on elephants. Elephants atop an even bigger tortoise as it slowly swims through space. It's a very specific type of carriage. No, I will not be distracted. Why do I not remember anything? After all, while I know that I sleep soundly, this entire situation is very strange. Hold on. I do remember something. I know that I sleep soundly. Unfortunately, that is not exactly the most useful knowledge to remember. Perhaps I can recall something else if I think deeply. What else do I remember? Being stabbed in the throat by any chance? I know that I can catch feet fish with my amazing dancing skills, but this fact is not going to be useful to me right now. What are feet fish? I have more immediately important things I need to remember. For one, what kind of person was I? Hmm, your dress is in tatters. You've got bruises and dirt and a bloody neck, and you're in a carriage that feels like it's floating through space. Are you dead already? Why am I traveling somewhere in a slow moving carriage on lush, comfortable, yet oddly ominous cushions? Oddly ominous. And why is my neck so sore? If I reach up to touch it. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. You, you, you feeling it, girl? We're just bleeding all over the place. Well, now I have another question. Why am I bleeding? Am I dying? Why is my hand covered in blood when I touch my neck? Is someone trying to kill me right now? Are these incredibly large cushions murder weapons? Why do I know how to murder someone with a cushion? I have to calm down. If I'm going to survive and determine what is happening, I have to be serene. Which is hard to do when my neck is covered in blood. Serene. Think serene thoughts. At least my head is still attached to my strangely sore neck. You just had to say it, didn't you? Guillotine specifically, eh? Interesting. Because apparently I know what it would be like to have my head not be attached to my neck. This is not helping my serenity. You have memory of that. Serene. Gusfraba. I am serene. I have a head. I have a neck. They are delightfully connected. I have to keep my head in more ways than one. Losing my head would be fatal. Figuratively and literally. I am vulnerable, injured, and cannot remember anything remotely useful. I need to find some information that can help me. Even if this carriage is moving very strangely, something has to be making it move. I can hear the horses pulling it, and if horses are pulling it, someone must be guiding them. She's very chill about this. I know she was just like, serene, but still, like she, she's being more chill than I would be. So if I yell out the window, would you want to, though? That is odd. The window does not appear to open. Perhaps if I yell loudly, the driver will hear me. 
Hello, Mr. Carriage Driver. Could you please tell me where we are going? He is not answering me. Well, if the driver is not doing his job properly, I suppose he would choose not to answer me. Just can't get good help these days. Have you stopped bleeding? Interesting. Your neck's looking a bit better. So I have realized with my extensive memory of about 10 minutes, if you want to get something done, do it yourself. So what should I investigate first? Oh, you again. So you need a little additional assistance? One might even say help? As always, I live to serve. Is this the servant already? For certain definitions of serve and live. Capturing hearts, a guide. Crossed out. The villainous survival guide, an instruction manual. Chapter one. Look into the dark miasma. Don't run away from it. <laughs> okay, so we're getting this background again. I'm sure that's fine. Don't need to worry about it even a little bit. Ooh, boy, we be spinning in. Yes? Oh, come on, you got rid of the book already? Come back here. Congratulations. You have found yourself in possession of one villainous. In order to help your villainous succeed, you will need to know the following information. Night, day, strange time. Is that where we are now? Love, raise or lower love, deduction, correct or failed choice, and tips and tricks. I love tips and tricks. What happens if we go backwards? 1101. Okay. Let's go this way. Symbols to guide your choices. The moon represents nighttime. It is harder to see in the nighttime. Also, people are more likely to try to murder you. On the positive side, at least your terrifying nightmares and heartfelt conversations with potential murderers might be useful? Okay. The sun represents daytime. Many clues are easier to find if there is light and people are awake to speak with you. Not all clues are helpful. Not all people tell the truth. The narrator will not be responsible for any injury, irritation, emotional complications, or prolonged rashes that result from gathering clues. The combination of the sun and moon represents an unusual time. Ah, uh, that's why we have the mix right now. Sometimes one's villainous might encounter a time that is neither night nor day. Strange things might happen when, there is no, when time is no longer in effect. Stranger than taking advice from a talking book. You be the judge. Okay, book talks to me. Awesome. Interesting. Symbols to guide your choices. The heart represents a love choice. One cannot buy love, but one can decide whether they wish to gain love or to lose it. Do you want romance for your villainous? Do you want something else? Should you care more about impending murder than manipulating emotions? Why not do both? We can do it. The red hearts represent an affection-raising choice. Is your dream to find love? When a love choice is made and you see red hearts rise into the air, love is being increased. Truly, love is all you need. So long as you do not care about pesky details like staying alive. I'd die for love, why not? The black heart represents an affection-lowering choice. Do you hate romance? When a love choice is made and you see a black heart break and fall, love is being decreased. There are a few things more satisfying than reveling in others' misery. Let them eat little cakes! The magnifier represents a deductive choice. Do you like solving mysteries? Whether you do or not, you must to survive. If you make incorrect deductive choices, your villainess will face a terrifying ending. But perhaps there are things you can only learn when all hope is lost. That's my thought. Alright, we got a butterfly system. The purple butterfly represents a correct deduction choice. Do you like being right? When a deduction choice is made and you see a purple butterfly fly upwards, you made a correct d deduction. You can then bask in smug satisfaction until the next murder attempt. 
The red butterfly represents a failed deduction choice. Do you enjoy failure? When a deduction choice is made and you see a red butterfly fly downwards, you made a deduction that will lead to failure. However, some failed deductions will have unusual consequences. If you do not mind the risk of death. And then 1101. Should you wish to receive fewer direct clues from me and no longer see hearts or butterflies after your choices, you can choose to act as a detective rather than view this as a story. You can make this transformation within settings. If you have previously visited, you also have the control to skip through this tale. I like that. You have the control. I hope my service is as subtle as you are. There may be other hints and tricks for you to discover, but only if you can find a way to save the villainous. Okay. Should you wish to revisit my assistance or read further notes of use? You may seek me at any time at the sign of the butterfly. The yellow one, that is. Solve the mystery. Write the story. Save. The. Villainous. Or die trying. Maybe. You never know with me at the helm. <laughs> Sorry, your villainous ladyship, sir, madam. <laughs> sir, madam. Wait! Do you believe you already know it all? Uh, no, I wish to learn more about this world. I hope they, he says, too bad. <laughs> so sad. So what should I investigate first? Hi. It really wants me to click on it. Yes. Correct or fail choice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Purple and red. I, I got it. I got it, book. As you have wisely chosen, we will not proceed quite yet. Sometimes what seems familiar might not be as it appears. Your caution will serve you well. After all, I know that you do not yet understand one of your most important commands and duties. No, it is not the back command that I plan to provide instruction on. Stop highlighting it. Why do you want to learn about the back command? All the back command gives you is the power over time and space to go backwards and see what you have already done or erase your current choices and redo them. You can also go back by reading a page up in the story or by rolling your mouse wheel backwards. Although, why you have a mouse on a wheel? But why would you use this power? Hmm? <laughs> All the back command gives you is the power over time and space to go backwards and see what you have already done or erase your current choices and redo them. Oh, haha, <laughs> very funny. I will warn you that you will not always be able to return to the past. Some choices are unchangeable, so think carefully before you act. Do you know what will always allow you to return to the past and protect you against the consequences of your own actions? It is not only the villainous you need to save, but your progress. Yes. Boop. Welcome to the Gallery of Memories. There are many exhibitions you can use to create the memories you wish to save. Of course, you have no idea how art works. Allow me to simplify things. These are empty pictures. What do you do with empty pictures? Perhaps that is too many pictures for you. Let us take a look at one empty picture. <laughs> I love this. When you move over an empty picture, you will be able to fill it with a picture of your memories to save and return to in the future. Eh? No, you cannot practice painting now. You can save yourself on your own time. Hopefully I have painted enough of a picture for someone like you. Oh, he wasn't kidding. So, what should I investigate first? Have I really looked at my hands? These cushions must hide secrets. Maybe looking outside would be helpful. Are my body parts still attached? So many good questions. You know what? Let's look at let's look at our hands. 
I know I was injured earlier and had blood on both my right hand and my neck. Perhaps I can learn more by looking closely at my hands? My head also feels like it was split in two, and I want to know why. A good place to start would be for me to find the source of the blood that was on my hands when I touched my head and neck. So let me see if my right hand has any clues for me. Zoom. That is not a hand. <laughs> this? Well, I guess it is her right hand. I was thinking of her left hand, but that was on my right. This is actually her right hand. This does not make any sense. There was blood on my hand. I know there was. Yes, but your neck is also mysteriously healed. I just need to touch my neck again. Right. This is bizarre. Not only is the blood without a source, there no longer seems to be any blood at all. I cannot feel any injuries. I cannot even detect any bandages or stitches to stop the bleeding I felt. Even the blood that was there earlier is gone now. My hand and neck are completely clean. Even if I could heal in minutes, the blood on top of the wound would still should still be there. I do not understand what is happening, but I do have another hand. Perhaps that hand will not betray me. So what does my left hand have to offer? Well, this hand has no blood on it, imaginary or otherwise. I have neither calluses nor scarring. I have also never dug dirt with these nails. These are not the hands of someone who spent a lot of time using them for anything other than gesturing. I feel as if whoever I am liked crooking fingers at people. The finger crooking muscle is well developed. Okay. But why is there a faded circle around the bottom of my fourth finger? Ah, a ring used to be here. But not anymore. Did you break your engagement? Must have been a rather long engagement if you have a ring. I hurt my hand and the scar faded. I had recently removed a long worn ring. Why would I have a ring mark on the fourth finger of my left hand unless... Was I engaged? Married? Unless this is the plot of a very naughty book, I am sure that a lover would not have me tossed half naked and injured into a carriage by myself. At the very least, one would think I would still have a ring or some sign of their support. I am deeply afraid that my taste in lovers was very much like the state of my body right now. They both stink. <laughs> Oof. So what should I investigate? My clothing might have pockets. Oh yes, go off, girl. I love pockets. Well, I will definitely not be able to find anything in my pockets. Ah. I see. Because I do not appear to have pockets. But what if you have a hidden pocket? Unfortunately, this dress is even more mysterious than the lack of pockets. Why is someone riding in a beautiful carriage wearing something like this. It was beautiful at one time, probably. The biggest mystery is, how did I not become naked trying to walk in this outfit? Magic? I'll say magic. How are these rags staying on my body? Still. I need to solve my immediate problem. Why am I riding in this fancy carriage while wearing this dissolving outfit? This dress looks like something that has survived numerous attempts to destroy it and then was used to birth several puppies. That is very specific. Hungry puppies. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, though. My head also hurts. Was I in this dress while it was attacked by hungry puppies? Was that something from one of the books I used to read? 
so apparently I read. That is probably useful to know. In fact, this dress looks like something a beggar from a book would wear. But when I look closer, this dress appears to have once been very beautiful. This was not cheaply made. No, it's been through the ringer, but it was beautiful once upon a time. This dress also appears to have been damaged not just by wear, but by force. The dress and I have also not been washed for weeks based on the overwhelming smell. Too bad we can't open the window. If I am in this fancy carriage, why could I not change out of this ragged dress? What happened to me? Um, I could not change because I was a prisoner. Don't think you were poor, girl. Based on the original quality of the dress, this was not made for someone who was poor. This was a dress made for a wealthy woman. Why is it in such terrible condition? Was I kept in a place where I could not clean myself or change into something else? A place like a prison? I certainly feel tired and hurt enough to have been imprisoned. Hopefully I am not being moved from one prison to another. Even more importantly, I hope that wherever this carriage is going, they will allow me to wash myself and my dress. Although I am not sure either of us will survive water at this point. All right. What else we got? So you got your body parts. Looking outside. All right. We'll just continue with the body for right now. Well, when I investigate my body, my feet hurt enough for me to wonder whether or not they are still attached. The good news is that my feet are still attached to the rest of my body. The bad news is that there is definitely a reason for my feet to be hurting. No shoes. Oh. Ow. I see. I hate disrespecting the ominous cushions, but this is the only place with enough light to see my feet. Unfortunately, not only are my feet filthy, there is a strange and consistent bruising around my ankles. The bruises hurt and seem to be recent based on the colors. All right. What is our deduction for this? What you thinking, girl? How did I get a ring of bruises around my ankles? Never put your feet inside a bear trap. Something was attached to my feet. Maybe shackles? Too tight shackles? Your feet were tied up with rope? Possibly. <laughs> Time to go down to the feet. I think a bear trap would have done more damage than that. Than that. No matter how hard I grip my ankles, I could not possibly create this kind of damage. This looks like something was attached to my ankles. Something that was heavy and hard enough to badly bruise them. Alright. I'll never know if my deductions are correct. Was I shackled? What happened to me? More importantly, how did someone with heavy shackles on their ankles manage to get out of those shackles? So what would be the one job I could have that would allow me to be in and out of shackles regularly? Being in prison? If I am a failed magician, I am going to be very angry. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the cushions. Cushions cannot be this beautiful and this terrifying without having secrets hidden in them. Right? I will find everything you are hiding from me, even if I have to rip you apart by hand. Oh boy. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Determination? Ominous cushions. Attack or wait? I mean, I have no reason to wait. I'll attack. Attack the cushion. effects 
The cushions are unmoved. You have failed. <laughs> Alright, I got 8 out of 10 now. But waiting's not going to do anything, right? Did it say human attack before? Am I attacking a human? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep attacking. <laughs> the sound effects are so good. I will be determined. I'm going to keep attacking. The cushions loom ominously. Keep poking the cushions. What's the worst they could do to me? Hmm? Four out of ten. Attack! <laughs> Let's see what happens. Cushions? The cushions are too ominous! <laughs> Whoa! we go. Defeated by cushions. No. Is this how it ends? <laughs> the cushions are too ominous. These cushions are both beautiful and made of material much stronger than me. That sounds like quitters talk. <laughs> I wonder what waiting would have done. I have been defeated by cushions. Perhaps there is something I can learn from this experience. Yes? Do, do tell. These cushions must be wildly expensive. Like this carriage. Its ornaments contain enough gold to fund a small nation. That's true. By, by trying to rip it apart... Consistently, you're like, man, this is good quality cushions. Whoever I am, I know when something is expensive. Even though, based on my condition, I am not an expensive person. Therefore, this is not my beautiful carriage. This is not my beautiful ride. The color scheming of the curtains kind of matches the one guy. The emperor from the beginning. This, but I mean, red and purple blue is also like a common wealthy look. So can't read too much into it either. This carriage belongs to a wealthy owner. Someone I do not remember taking me to a place I do not know. Yet why would this owner of this expensive carriage want to provide comfort to me. Hmm. The cushions are a trap. It's a trap. I'm being taken from where I was harmed. Maybe. Optimi us let's be optimistic. I was injured, ragged, and about one gust of wind from being blown away into the sky before getting on this carriage. I was not well enough to sneak onto this carriage, and I could not have gotten in here by accident. Another reason that I could not have sneaked into this carriage is that even though the driver does not seem to care about me, he must know I am here. I even called out to him. That means that someone has deliberately placed me in this carriage and on these cushions. <laughs> these ominous cushions. This means that someone removed me from the place where I had been harmed to put me on these terrifyingly comfortable cushions, even though I look and feel as ragged as my dress. And they closed the curtain so nobody could see inside. The person who brought me here, my patron, did not treat my injuries or provide me with new clothes or a bath, but perhaps they thought the cushions would cure me. <laughs> sure. Maybe there wasn't time for that. <laughs> Remember the ominous cushions? <laughs> that you tried to rip? Would anyone notice if I took the cushions with me when I left? They are the only support I have right now. <laughs> I 
I'd like to see you try to take them. Okay. Are we good? Let me just... I'm just checking everything. Boop, 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 boop. Doing a nice systematic Okay, I think we're good. Let's look outside. What do you see, girl? What's out there? Surely I can learn something useful from where we are traveling. So let us see what the curtains are hiding. Draw the curtain. Fireflies? Hopefully? She's thinking about it. Opening the curtain and staring out the side window was not my most useful idea. There are many trees, but even with those strange flickering lights, it is too foggy and dark to see much of anything else, including the front of the carriage. Someone must be driving me, but there is something very strange about the way we are moving. The carriage is moving so slowly that I cannot feel the ground moving beneath us. It almost feels as if we are going back and forth in the same place. The driver has also never spoken to me, even when I yelled to get his attention. Should I be concerned? Why well, care? Let workers do their jobs in peace. I am concerned that I did not hire this driver. As beautiful as this carriage is, it obviously belongs to someone with a lot of money. I do not seem like the kind of person who would own this carriage. And the driver is not treating me as if I am paying his wages. Servants listen to the person who is paying them. If the driver is not listening to me... They must have got their orders from someone else. Right? He might not have my best interests in mind. So what should I investigate? No more investigation. It is time to d -d 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 deduce. I have realized. No. Nope. No more choices for you. I have learned my lesson. Left to your own devices, you will choose to fight cushions. <laughs> Don't call me out on my choices. I must find a way to convince you to make better choices. Do you understand what this is? No, not the concept of not knowing what you are doing. Do you understand what this is? is the locked heart this is a lock lock what does a lock do yes it locks in this case one of your options is locked because of your previous terrible choices the path that would proceed to a better future is closed to you because i chose to fight some cushions should you make clever choices, or rather, if the villainous makes clever choices, a better path will be unlocked and available. Wait! Do not be too eager to ignore the path that will end to failure. In a world of many possibilities, there are some things you can only learn when all hope is lost. This is what I'm saying. Will you lock yourself to the story you most want to hear? Or can you open yourself to the truth? I have realized that I've made a horrible decision by fighting those cushions. Interesting. So did, did it unlock for me out of pity? Hold on. Can I make a picture? Yay. Picture has been made. You know what? I ain't afraid of no bad endings. Let's see what happens. We can come back. <laughs> I do not know what I am doing or where I am going. I do not even know my name. Was I a prisoner? Was I a failed escape artist? Did I run away from a bear trap with a bottle attached to my finger? Why is someone dressed like I am riding in a carriage that looks like this? 
I think I somehow already hurt myself. But perhaps I only hallucinated doing so? I don't know. Am I dreaming? Am I awake? I have no idea what is happening or what I am meant to do. Maybe I should just try to sleep this nightmare away. I am so tired. Yeah, sleeping. That'll solve things. Perhaps when I wake, the world will finally make sense. I wouldn't count on it. I've gone to sleep enough times to know the world doesn't make sense when I wake up. Oh boy, we be miasma in. What is happening? Why did the carriage stop? Hello? Is someone there? Did they just like toss in something? Oh, whoa, hello. What do they do? <laughs> Open the door, lamp falls, smashes, crashes. The carriage is on fire! Help! Mr. Driver, please help me! No one is responding. I need to get out of here! This door has no handle! It cannot be open from the inside! I must escape! The window! I will go through the window! No! I... I cannot go out the window! Because... There is nothing outside of the window! How can I escape into an endless void? There is no way out! I can dive into a void or burn alive! Hmm. Except that I cannot even break the window. So burning alive it is. It hurts so much. Why is this happening? Why are you doing this to me? You asking me? Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. See you in another life. Yes, hello. <laughs> would you like to try another life? Yes. Actually, I would. I would rather. <laughs> the truth? Are you ready for the truth? I don't know. It wasn't unlocked when I started. Yes. You are not ready for the truth. <laughs> then why ask me, hmm? You can't handle the truth. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Take me back. I can't believe I got the, the bad ending effortlessly. That's what I was trying to do, but I didn't think it would be so effortless, so I'm quite pleased. All right, I'm in danger. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. While I might not remember my name, I certainly remember power. Unfortunately, I also know that I currently have none. I was injured and imprisoned, lost a long-term engagement or marriage, and I'm currently traveling to an unknown location surrounded by ominously comfortable cushions. However, this is not how I always lived. I was obviously once wealthy. My clothes are only still attached to my body because they were made of fine, expensive material. How else could they survive both prison and hungry puppies? On the literal other hand, my poor fingers have obviously never faced a choice more serious than which servant to crook my pointer finger at before I wound up here. So how did I go from luxury to misery to this beautiful carriage? After using my investigative genius, I can safely say it is because I used to be someone with wealth and spectacular taste in lace. Yet I was somehow imprisoned by powerful enemies, possibly because they were offended by my sense of style. 
However, someone with even more power and a greater respect for lace work rescued me out of prison and placed me in their expensive carriage. This is information I can use to survive. Or at least I could use this information if I was not trapped on a carriage ride to nowhere with a driver who refuses to speak to me. I just need a moment to think. Think deeply. Without going into the miasma. Oh, hello. Oh, man, your knees are messed up too, girl. Hey, butterfly. Purple butterfly is good? Good deductions? Yes. Goodbye, butterfly. <laughs> or come back. Boop. I mean, it was a purple butterfly flying up. Hopefully that's a good sign. I could have sworn I saw a light in the window. Am I imagining things? For a moment, I felt more real and less like a creature lost in a strange dream. More importantly, was that light someone coming to meet the carriage? That gives me an idea. I know that the patron who pulled me out of prison had the power to rescue me and put me in this gold-lined carriage. This means my patron must have both money and political power. If only I could borrow some of my patron's power. A power that people obviously respect. Okay, we be stopping. Is the carriage stopping? I have a bad feeling about what the driver is planning to do by stopping in the middle of nowhere with no destination in sight. I have no way to protect myself with my dissolving dress and unmovable yet ominous cushions, so I will have to find some other kind of power. With apologies to the revolution, I am going to have to use the most ancient path to power. Name-dropping the most powerful person I know. Good luck. Thank goodness you are here, Mr. Driver. I am glad you came to speak to me about speeding up the pace of our journey. After all, when I look out the window, I can see the light of my patron ahead. My patron is obviously impatient with how slowly we are traveling. What was with all the black stuff coming out? What, what, what's that? What's that all about? At this rate, my patron will be here before you even reach the front of the carriage again, and that would be unfortunate for you. After all, while I support the rights of workers to have needed rest, not all powerful people are so understanding. If my patron is already coming out to meet us, they might be concerned at the delay. Still, no matter what consequences you face for your bravery, I will support you. I will still be there for the revolution, comrade. Power to the workers who make the country and this carriage run. Yeah? Did it work? <laughs> I don't know, girl. Did you actually see anything? It's nighttime. Okay, we're not in the strange time anymore. I knew name dropping the owner of the carriage was the way to survive. The rights of the working class are very important, but sometimes you need to have the power to purchase large carriages to make things happen. Finally, I'm getting somewhere. Perhaps this time I shall even remain conscious. One can hope. The purpose of existence is that one should become conscious. Carl Jung. Chapter 2. The Tower. Aw, oh, man. Dang. What an opening chapter, though. That was incredible. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. Carl Jung. Physical pain or emotional pain? All right. Well, I was hoping to spend some more time with our boyos. Romance? Yes, exactly. Exactly what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Love, too. Probably. Yes, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about both those things. Betrayal, death, dismemberment, you know how it goes. 
Happily ever after. <laughs> Uh, I could not read that one. Uh. Ah, villainous. Can a villainous have a happy ever after? I guess that's the burning question. There are so many stories that can take you on journeys to your dreams and nightmares. You imagined yourself the heroine in every one of them. Whoa! Do you remember? Do you remember your sanctuary from a cruel and unforgiving world? Do you remember the hours spent reading until your eyes were so dry you could no longer weep? Whoa! So many charming stories featuring swooning sweethearts who could overcome all obstacles to their love. Typical fairy tale nonsense. You have spent countless hours with perfect princes, icy northern dukes, and charming childhood friends. How did you know? But it is easy enough to leave a story hanging. Can you do the same with your own life? Can you walk away when you are trapped in the story? Hanging by a thread? You may not have realized, but you are trapped in a tale you once knew well. With the power to write your own story, what would you want for yourself? Power? Love? Or something else entirely? You are alone and do not know who or what you can trust. Do you seek to keep that isolation or will you take the risk to reach out? Above all else, a single wrong choice, a moment of inappropriate hesitation, and you will not live to leave this cursed story. Oh, the Reaper's gonna come for me. Great! If you would protest that sweet stories should not have such danger, remember that not everyone in such tales can be loved by the creators. You are the villainous, after all. In the magic of storytelling, for the heroine to succeed, there must be something to succeed against. I am curious, who is the heroine in this world? Where's she at? If there is a heroine, there must also be a villain. Or a villainess. However, the devil is in the details. Pitchfork. Alright. All hope is not lost. Perhaps you can shine a light on what is wrong with this world. Hmm. What is the balance between your sins and your glory? Trust your judgment, or be weighed as undeserving. Oh, interesting. Judgment again. Justice. Shall we remember the tale you have forgotten? Shall it end as it began? The story awaits. Once upon a time, right? Yay! Good! I'm so happy it started with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there was a lovely heroine who wanted to be loved. Her golden locks and deep blue eyes showed that she was worthy of the kind of devotion that could only be found in dreams. Though she was but a commoner in a land of noble magicians, her power and beauty made her a flower rising out of the filth of her birth. All those who knew this heroine told her how special she was and that she was destined to find love with one as special as herself. Yet her beloved was engaged to a wicked noblewoman. Could the heroine capture her beloved's heart and win there happily ever after? First, the heroine had to overcome the most terrifying of opponents, her beloved's fiancé. Okay, interesting. The villainous. <laughs> Okay, so we were engaged to the heroine's beloved. Does it feel as if you are getting nowhere? There are many stories, many truths in this world. This is the one you need to know now. Lady Jane Neville. Who would have thought? Oh, is this like... Who would have thought? Scandalous things. 
She deserves it for harassing that poor commoner. She deserves it for conspiring against the kingdom. She deserves it for pretending she was anything special. Sounds like Lady Jane Nevelle deserved a lot of things. Was he not her fiancé? The one the commoner is involved with? Well, he made the obvious choice when you consider Lady Jane's deficits. This is so exciting. Let us see Lady Jane pay. No love for the villainous, eh? How cruel. Ah. Order! I will have order in this court! I am presiding over this trial and I will have order! Our dress used to be in much better condition. Lady Jane Neville, you stand accused of harassing a promising and productive citizen of the great kingdom of Carcosa. Do you believe yourself to be above the law? Do you understand the seriousness of your situation? You have no defenders. There are no supporters to speak for you, and your own fiancé has... If I might interrupt. Not until the verdict is pronounced. This is an impartial court. Lady Jane must be sentenced to execute. I insist. As the fiancé of Lady Jane Deville, I invoke my legal right to speak to her fate. Proceed. Does the court truly wish to make such a quick decision on her fate? To truly reflect on and understand her actions, she must be removed from the situation. I call for exile! A little smile she did, like, oh, exile, eh? Mm. If you don't kill the bad guy, they always come back. Don't you understand? Order! I will have order! By his right and the laws of Carcosa, the fiancé of Lady Jane Neville has determined her sentence. Lady Jane Neville is hereby condemned to exile. So all this time... You were the one who planned this. My fiancé. My beloved. My betrayer. Exile! 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 Exile for one without support is... the same as execute. Attached are you to your head, my lady? Just out of curiosity. And we're back. <laughs> the name of ominous cushions! <laughs> well, as much as I would love to keep playing, especially because I haven't actually run into any of my guys since the very beginning, and I'm not sure if that was them or just... Whoever, using my perceptions of those people to ask me questions. Jane? Um, I unfortunately have to stop there for today, guys. I am so invested in this. I really, really want to keep playing. But I, I got to call it there for today. Thank you so much for watching me play this. If you would like to check out this demo for yourself, it's available both on Steam and Itch.io. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a Kickstarter currently going on. And as I understand it, Already it's been funded and a couple of um, stretch goals have already been blown through the water. So if you'd like to, you know, go check them out, give them some support in some way, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Thank you again to Tanya for asking me to check this out. I 
freaking love this. It's beautiful. The writing is smart and funny and the animations are gorgeous. I am so intrigued by what in the hickey hay is happening here. And I want to meet my boys at some point. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys are also interested in watching me play some more of this, let me know down below because I haven't seen my servant yet and I really, really want to. So <laughs> give me an excuse to play more, please. <laughs> but for now, thank you guys once again for joining me for this. And until next time, I will see you later.